Today, I have the honor to optimize the speed of a WordPress site called Stitching in Color by Janine. She has been binging my content and it really means a lot to me as a small content creator. It gives me a signal that I'm heading in the right direction and I really appreciate the support. So Janine, if you're watching this, I really want to take this opportunity to thank you. So a few weeks back, Janine and I were communicating through email. She told me that she has been taking notes on the content I've been publishing regarding page speed optimization and her site was running on Generate Press. But what's puzzling is that she didn't use any page builder to build her site and page builders are usually the main cause of all speed issues and she has been listening to a lot of advice online on how to speed up her site and she has made a ton of changes to her site over the years yet her site is still running slowly. So immediately I thought this could be an opportunity to show people on YouTube a real case study on how to speed up a live WordPress site instead of listening to some surface tips and device which may or may not work. And I thought this would be a challenge to my skills so I suggested to Janine if I could work on a site and share behind the scene recordings on my channel and luckily she accepted and here we are. And also because I managed to bring her site from a Google PageSpeed rating of 28 to 90 otherwise this video wouldn't be live on this channel. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I like creating this. It was time consuming but I think it is worth it because it could save you thousands of dollars hiring a web developer to speed up your site. So I really hope to get a thumbs up from you below this video. If you can smash the thumbs up button thank Thank you, I really appreciate you. Also, I'm open to working on your site for free. If you think what I've shared on this video didn't help, feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll take it from there. Hopefully, I have the time to help everyone who commented. Otherwise, I hope you understand. So without further ado, let me show you behind the scene what I've done with the website. You'll be surprised at the things I did on her site. It's nothing extraordinary. It is just a few simple things I did that adds up to a fast loading website. So let's go. Okay, so I'm in the Stitching in Color WordPress dashboard and this is what it looks like right now and the first thing I need to do before everything else is to test the website so I'll go to Google PHP Insights and test this so we have a 28 rating for this site let's see what's happening we have a lot of render blocking issues I think mainly caused by breeze I'm not sure what is that but let's go and see later on we have to defer off-screen images, properly sized images, remove unused CSS, unused JavaScript, this is caused by reCAPTCHA, and we need to serve next-gen formats of images. And then over here, we need to reduce the third-party codes. We have the Google CDN here, caused by reCAPTCHA again, and then Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics and it seems that we have quite a lot of fonts here. So normally what I would first do is to reduce the number of font styles on a site to only one. So that's what we are going to do. The impact is not a lot but it helps. But before that, let's test this website on Pingdom 2s. Okay, so we have a performance grade of 74, a page size of 1.3 megabytes, loading time is 919 milliseconds, and we have 64 requests. Okay, I think a lot is caused by the breeze. Let's go behind the scenes and see what we can optimize. So the first thing I will do is to reduce the number of font styles on the website. So I'll go to customize. And if I go to typography, under the body, I think we will use this because this is kind of the main font style that Janine is using on her site. So we'll keep this, but we'll change the rest. Let's see if I'm right that she has a lot of fonts loading on her site. Okay, so here we have Sacramento. I think this is the site title, which looks like this. Honestly, I would not use a font as a logo because your site is loading a font style from somewhere else. I would rather my logo be loaded on a server. So for me, I would change this into an image. Let me screenshot this and then I will put the logo as an image. But right now, let's change all the fonts to one style. This is the font style. Don't worry about this. We will put this back in place. All right, we have the third font style here. So let's inherit this. All right, this is done. 
Okay, I don't think there will be much difference in terms of the rating, but let's test this again. Okay, we're getting a little better. But now let's solve this issue. Okay, what is causing this? Let's go back to the dashboard. Let's see the plugins. Okay, there are not a lot of plugins, but let's see. Okay, we have a breeze here. So what if we deactivate this breeze and let's see what's the difference. Let's test this again. You see, to do speed optimization is all about trial and error. I think the rating went up and you can see that the render blocking issues lessen from 3 point something seconds to 2.8 seconds, which is better. Okay, these are the issues, we'll fix it in a while. Now, I just want to solve this small issue right here. Serve images in next-gen formats. So what we can do, right, is to go to plugins and I will install a plugin called Imagify. This is the plugin by WP Media. Let me install this and activate. Okay, I've installed and activated Imagify. What I recommend Janine to do is to set up her own free account because that will give her some credits to optimize her images. But for now, I'll just use my API key. And we are set. So on the main page, this is the image that we need to optimize as well as this. So what I will do is to go to settings, Imagify, and then over at Optimization, I will create WebP versions of images and I'll display images in WebP format on the site. And we'll save changes. Let's go to the media. This is the image that we have. Let's optimize this. Okay, this is optimized. And honestly, we don't need such a big image over here. 1,500 pixels in width is really big. If we look at the main page, this is not even 1,000 pixels. I would say at most it is 450 pixels. And if you want to look at a bigger image, I think this is around 800 pixels. So you don't really need to have such a big image because the bigger your image, the larger its size and it takes a longer time for your server to size it down to the correct size for display on devices. But anyway, let's test this out and see if the issue is gone. Okay, that issue is gone. And now we have this issue here. This image is this image right here. So we need to properly resize this image. So what I would do is to go to the media library, download this image, save it on my computer, open up my Photoshop, resize the image to maybe 650. And let's save this as a JPEG image because the size of JPEG is usually smaller than PNG. And then this is a habit of mine, I will usually optimize my image before I upload it to my site. Even though there is already an automated image optimizer, I will still optimize it externally before I upload it. This is just my habit. So this is the free tool I use, it's called Kraken.io. If you want a full link to this page, then check out the link in the description. So all you need to do is just to drag your image to the middle and it will do its job. So I'll optimize this. The optimized size is 85 kilobytes. Let's download this file and save this image. Let's go to the main page. The front page here, let's edit this. And then we want to replace this by uploading the file. Let's give this a name. Let's centralize this, update. And let's test this and see if this will be gone under the properly sized image. Okay, and that's gone, which is cool. I can't change this image because this image is hosted externally. I think it is with ConvertKit. So this is not an optimization that I can do. So now the biggest challenge is this, eliminate render blocking resources. So as we can see here, there is this cookie. Pretty sure this is a problem with the plugin. Let's go back to the plugins. Let's deactivate cookie notice because I think this is one of the causes of your site speed. And then let's see this Redis object cache. I really don't think you need so many caching plugins. Let's see what's there. 
There's no drop-ins. I'm not sure what is this tracking. This is a redundant plugin. So I'll just deactivate this. Okay, so we have deactivated four plugins here. We deactivated the brace, the code snippets, cookie notice, and this Redis object cache. Let's try this out again. Now, if you remember, when we first tested this site, the render blocking issue was 3.94 seconds and after removing 4 unnecessary plugins, it is now reduced to 1.6 seconds. I think we are heading towards the right direction. But now here's the problem. To further optimize this, we need a caching plugin. We have removed 2 inefficient caching and now the site is left with none. So let me use the caching plugin I recommend, it is called WP Rocket. It is one of the best, if not the best caching plugin you can find and honestly it is not expensive it only costs 49 dollars a year which is four dollars a month for one side and it will do wonders if you want to check this out i've left the link in the description so let's continue i'll go to my account i'll download the plugin i will install the plugin I'll activate the plugin. I'll go to settings. You can do it here or you can go to settings and WP Rocket. So without doing any configuration, let's first test the site. So the reading just jumped without us configuring anything. So let's go to WP Rocket. Let's do cache. I don't think we need to do any changes here file optimization let's minify the css files so what we need to take note here is that whenever we meddle with these settings especially the css and the javascripts file when we minify them sometimes our website will break so it's important that we test these settings one by one but for the sake of this video i don't want to waste your time watching me test things one by one i took the liberty to test the settings and i know that the site will not break so i will check all these boxes every single checkbox here will help with the page speed so i'll save this but just to let you know the steps I took, whenever I check one of these boxes, I will save it, go to the dashboard and clear the cache. And then I will refresh the page to see if there's anything that broke. And if the site didn't break, I will check the next box and go through the same process again. So that's how I work through the file optimization. But anyway, I've checked all the boxes and saved it. Let's test the site. Okay, so we have a 78 rating. As we can see here, we have reduced a lot of issues. Remember we have a lot of render blocking issues. Right now it's almost gone. Defer off screen image. As I've told you, I can't optimize this because this is embedded externally. It's the same thing with this properly sized image. So let's test it on Pingdom. Okay, this was the result. We have a C score. We have a page size of 1.3 megabyte. We have 64 requests and this is the load time. Let's test this again and compare it. So now let's see, the performance grade went from 74 to 85. The page size was 1.3, reduce it down to one megabyte. And the total number of requests came down from 64 all the way down to 31, which is quite a significant change. And the page load time right now is a little slower. But the key here is that we have reduced almost half the requests the site had. Now let me show you what is the main cause of everything, okay? You see we have 78 rating. The only thing that is blocking this site from getting a 90 plus rating is this. Over here at the plugins, if we deactivate this ConvertKit plugin, let's purge the cache. And let's test this again. It gets a 92 rating. It's all because of this. It's all because of this ConvertKit plugin. But the problem here is that if we refresh this, this ConvertKit form is gone. 
So we need a way to collect leads. So let me describe what I did because there were just too many details to go through. Janine has a Generate Press Premium team which is due soon and she has a ConvertKit account. My objective was to achieve 90 plus rating without sacrificing functionality. My initial thought was to design the form using the Gutenberg blocks in the WordPress editor and link it up to ConvertKit and then I will use the Generate Press hook element to place the form on all posts and pages. But then I hit a roadblock because Generate Press hook element cannot read a third-party Gutenberg blog. So my second attempt was to change the theme to Cadence because I know in Cadence, the hook function works just like the WordPress editor and I can design the lead capture element the way I know. So I took some time to design and recreate the page to look like the original site and then I remember that the hook function is only available for Cadence Pro. And Janine mentioned that it didn't make sense to get the pro versions just because of the hook element, so that's a no-go. So I switch it back to Generate Press, installed Cadence Blocks as it has the form function, and I built the lead capture using the blocks. Then I realized the Cadence form blocks have no option, no integration with ConvertKit. So from here, it is all about trial and error. I placed one of the forms from the WP form plugin. She has that plugin installed and I didn't meddle around with it. And voila, it works. Not the best looking, but it is acceptable. However, after some communication with Janine, she told me that ConvertKit could only work with the ConvertKit form plugin. So this method didn't work as well. And now I'm scratching my head again because the ConvertKit plugin is one of the main culprits for the slow website and I'm not willing to go back in circles again. So I took some time to think and I thought and I ponder and I think I found a solution. Maybe the speed drag from ConvertKit was caused by all the CSS and the image which I couldn't optimize. Remember this? This entire blog was loaded directly from ConvertKit which was the main problem. So what if I style everything using the Gutenberg blogs and I only add the form field through the ConvertKit plugin. That way the server didn't need to load the unnecessary scripts and images from ConvertKit. It only needs to load the form. If that works, I'll be able to save the lead capture as a reusable blog. So whenever Janine wrote an article and needs a lead capture at the end of the page, she can easily place it after her content. So I've tested it and the result was around 85 to 88 on Google PageSpeed Insights, which was fine, not very ideal, but acceptable. Now, I did one more last test. Janine likes Cadence more and more because of the user friendliness, so I think it makes sense to switch it to Cadence. In future, maybe she upgrades to the Cadence Pro, she can use the hook element to distribute her lead capture throughout her website instead of adding the reusable block one by one. So, when I made the switch, I did the test again, and this was the result. So thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you have gained some insights into how you can turn a slow loading website into a super fast site. There is nothing extraordinary that I did. I only optimized the images, made sure that the images are properly sized, I've removed those unnecessary plugins, and I have just one good caching plugin. I recommend WP Rocket, you've seen its power. And then the key is to trial and error to find the best setup suitable for your budget. If you wanna see the full list of themes and plugins I use on my site to have a 90 plus rating consistently, you can check out the link in the description. These are the tools I've tested and they work well together. Anyway, I look forward to your comments. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want more WordPress tutorials and if you want to learn online business as well, we do it on this channel too. Also, if you want more tips on how to speed up your WordPress website, you can check out this video on the right as well. I have 9 tips for you. Take care and stay safe.